Hello Galactic Family. Question. From the answer that Kathumi gave me, he implied that the last boy I was interested in and said was heterosexual, is not it? As you can see, it's the second consecutive time that I attract the same type of situation, where I like a boy, I think he's gay or bisexual, and then he tells me he's heterosexual. Being that the first time was with a boy who, after that, became my friend. But to this day I feel that he is not what he says and says to be. Is he also one of those who still deny his inner truth or is he really heterosexual? Answer. Son. Now he enters a new phase, where he learns to recognize his intuition, his feelings and feel what his heart tells him. But at the same time, you must conceive that you are in a world of free will, where not only your interest is to prevail, but you must recognize the divinity in all, where each brother will have time to make his own decisions. When a situation repeats itself in our life, there is a lesson to be learned, overcome, and transcended for others to incorporate into your soul. Absorb now the lesson of this repeating situation, learn to listen to your heart, but always respect those you still do not do as vigorously as you can. Trust yourself, but give time for each one to mature. This is the lesson you need to learn. Be in peace. His brother Kithumi. How to orientate my daughters. Question. Dear Masters, Greetings. I come to you with a sorrowful heart. I am the mother of two children. I have always been a zealous mother in every way, I understand that as a mother my role is to care for, to educate, to guide them so that they have a base, a structure to face life, path will be better for them. I know and understand that you will be living and facing the obstacles you will learn and become stronger. But as a mother I cannot be negligent in guiding them, for they are very new still. Despite this. It seems that everything I say is bullshit, they do not listen to me and they respond, in a matter of caprice and organization they forgot what they learned, because they do not care about anything anymore and do not obey. How can I let them bang their heads to learn if they know nothing of life and are so naive yet? In spite of all this, I must acknowledge that they are wonderful and I thank God every day that they are in my life. Where did I go wrong and still go wrong in their education? I see them sad many times, tired and bored with their routine, what can I do if I cannot change it at the moment? Please give me some light for this situation. With much love, I thank you immensely. Answer. Daughter. Notice how you close yourself in a world of inner drama, manifest your consciousness to an uncertain future, and create all the constraints and fears within you. Look around you now and you will see that all is well, but when you shift your thinking to what you desire, you enter into the energy of drama for life, control for what is in the hands of God. It sows the very roots of its suffering from its inner behavior. Yes child, for this inner maladjustment of the present will be the suffering it will bring to you at a later time. You will manifest illnesses in the future if you do not police yourself in your thoughts. And when it does, you may wonder what you did wrong. You will not realize that it was from your attitude to life that you created your reality. But daughter, you do not have to experience this suffering. Just understand these words and really take care of the present, every second, whenever you begin to doubt the future, look around you and realize that this fear exists only inside you, he it is not external. From their life more smoothly, handing your problems to God. You will see that every day your life will become smooth. And when you have that fear inside you, just look to the side and see that all is well. From that feeling be at peace and so a future of balance, peace and love, leaving aside these fears, for as I said, they will be the roots of your suffering if you do not change your inner state.
everyone in this world is free to decide their destiny, for life in one way or another will lead to our own liberation. Be at peace, my sister. I'm a master nothing. How to reunion my balance? Question. Dear friend and brother Jesus, once again thank you for answering my questions. I've been very confused and discouraged. The process of ascending to me has been very devastating. I write to you because I feel that I cannot take it any longer, the discouragement plagues me, and I feel more and more distant from accomplishing my mission of soul. I'm tired of battles and fights. I feel totally disconnected from this plan, I no longer recognize my friends, I do not feel connected to my family. I feel a huge pressure on my chest and I seem to suffocate. It gets much worse when I am alone, but I still feel alone in the crowds. Please help me endure everything in a light manner, tell me how to proceed to rediscover my balance. Gratitude. Answer. Daughter. She tries to find a way out for herself. In the face of a dilemma that makes her feel separated from everyone. The great problem with this attitude is that life becomes tiny. It does not develop and closes in the face of its own pain. The pain she has borne for centuries and shows that, deep down, what passes, is the escape of herself. I will tell you that in my physical life, after many experiences, I went back to my family life my childhood friends and when I observed them, I found exactly the points that I myself needed to transcend. It was there that I discovered myself with love. I know, daughter, that the pain you feel should not be despised, but honored. On the other hand, it will only soften when it returns to the feeling of unity, integration with all. This will be how this pain you feel will soften. You will begin to look with love at all those who have shared this human journey with you, looking away from right or wrong, but only seeking to be there, living and enjoying the journey. How much lighter his life would be if he understood these simple words, of entering into the midst of all, only being natural and radiating his love, without needing to be this or that, without needing to prove. Simply being there to smile, to be happy. Life is simple like that, child. And so, in this sense of integration, where from his love, he dilutes his own humanity with the other hearts, is that he will find his own inner healing. You will no longer see yourself as one and the others, but you will feel one with everything respecting the choice of each one that cross your path. Be in peace, from your loving brother. Jesus. What is the vision of the Masters about me? Question. Good morning. Because I do not know how to deal with criticism, I end up getting away from people and I'm lonely. But at the same time I do not think I'm wrong, and I really like my solitude. But I would very much like to know what the Masters view of me and my behavior. Hugs. Answer. Daughter. There is nothing wrong with their behavior. You are free to make of your life what you would like, to respect yourself, to live your way. But notice that certain behaviors lead you into a state of uncertainty, of doubt as to your purpose, for you know that there are certain aspects in you that are to be worked out one day. So, daughter, you can live your own way, there's nothing wrong with that but postpone something that sooner or later should lead you to transcend those inner fears of judgment, which will lead you into a state of self-love and greater confidence in life. You, daughter, like everyone else on this planet, are free to decide when they want to work on certain aspects so that they can move on to new lessons. As I said, there is nothing wrong with not wanting to look at that moment. But know that you only postpone something that sooner or later life will lead you into this confrontation, for this is a natural law. Just be at peace and let the flow lead you to that need. I'm Sarah Pispay.